Welcome back to my channel. We have a little guest here today. This is Victoria Caputo. You might recognize her from the Long Island Medium. This is her daughter. This is Teresa's daughter. But she is also an amazing hairstylist. Girls on Long Island. If you guys need your hair done, she's at Salon Entourage. And we did her makeup today. I'm going to zoom you in a little bit. We just decided to play around. And we played with the new Kylie Peach Palette. And we did a beautiful peach look with a coral peach lip. And we bronzed her up a little bit. And she's just stunning. Her eyes are insane. I'm going to zoom you in a yes. little more. How sick they look. Oh my god. But uh yeah, so we I do a talk over finally in this video. I know you guys have been asking me to do a talk over for a long time and finally we had a quiet house, so I figured why not she come over and we do a little get ready and makeover fun. So yeah, um hopefully we'll get to do this again because Yay. it's so much fun. I'm obsessed. And so I love it. Know what you guys think. And uh, yeah, we'll definitely do this again. So, if you guys want to know how to get this look and watch us be super silly and weird, <laughs> literally, <laughs> literally, you can keep watching. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you aren't already and thumbs us up if you guys like the video. Be sure to follow Vic on Instagram. And yeah, all right? Yeah, good. Okay, okay guys. Bye. See you later. Bye. Okay, I'm using Kate Somerville's, let's see if it focuses, Kate Somerville's Nourish Moisturizer to, to moisturize her. What kind of moisturizer do you use now? What is, what's your um, skincare routine? I use a lot of Chanel. Mm -hmm. Amazing um, stuff. So. Yes. Um, the Hydra Beauty. Mm -hmm. um, I, so I use that line for moisturizing things like that. For brows, I'm going to use Anastasia's Dip Brow. In chocolate. Don't mind my nails, they're broken. Wow, oh, look at me. <laughs> <I'm> so beautiful. <laughs> Great brows, Jesus. Thank you. I, don't, I usually don't throw in the brows. I usually you don't, don't do, need to. Like, I really don't do anything. Like, as long as I have, like, a lot of blush mm -hmm. and I'm tan, <laughs> that's what like makes me happy. Really. Me too. Me and too. some, and mascara. Yes, mascara. So she doesn't need too much product on her brows, so I'm just going to lightly fill in the front and just focus it more on the back of the brow, or the end and the tail of the brow. And I'm using a MAC 266 brush. Now because she has some highlights in her hair, I'm going to put some highlights in her brows. I use 3D Brow Tones by Benefit in shade 4. This will give her a little dimension in the brow. So it's not super dark brown. Okay, now to conceal the brows, I'm going to use MAC Studio Finish Concealer. I'm going to use the NC25. Okay, I'm just using a brush from Coastal Sense. Going to and don't worry if the color is a little dark because we are going to make her nice and tan today. <laughs> just using a 195 from that just to kind of clean everything up and smooth everything out. This brush has a good edge to make it really nice and precise. I was worried about having the Holl Hollister brow. <laughs> I want to make sure that they blend it out. Now, to prime the eye, I'm going to use Painterly by MAC, their paint pot. Pretty good. And I'm using just a Coastal Sense Fluffy Blender to put this on. I like to put on like a really nice coat of it, just so the eyeshadows don't skip or anything like that. And you want to bring this out all the way towards the tail of the brow. So if you like to extend the eyeshadow like I do, you don't have a problem with skipping or anything like that. 
And today, we're gonna use the new Kylie palette because Yay. Why not? I'm obsessed with it. The peach palette. So we're gonna start with Sorbet, which is this color right here. I'm going to use a 224 from MAC, just do that, blend that out. We're gonna put that in the crease. And then this is gonna be our transition color, so everything looks nice and smooth. I don't usually do talkovers, but it's nice and quiet here today, so it's, good. it's a good day to do it. It's like, why don't you do talk over? So I'm like, I have a dog that barks at everything that moves. My mom is so loud, it's not even funny. She comes in and I'm like, I'm filming. She's like, oh, okay. Well, what do you want to eat? And she'll be like, oh. I'd leave my, I'd be like, oh, eat? Okay. <laughs> Let me, I'll be right back. <laughs> You just want to bring it up to the brow a little bit so there's no harsh lines or anything. Okay, now we are going to take a little bit of peachy, which is that shade there. I'm just going to focus it on the inner and outer corners. I'm not going to really bring it into the crease area. I don't want it to make it too pink, so we're just going to just do a little bit. And I'm using a MAC 217. I'm a MAC girl today, I'm all hot. We're gonna take cinnamon and we're gonna go on the outer V. Kind of just press it in. I'm just using like a swirly little motion just to bring it up to the crease. Yeah. Now I'm gonna use from the Kylie Bronze palette. Use Hematite, which is a still in the same kind of range, but it's not as bright as the peach color. It's gonna kind of dim everything a little down, not go too bright because we don't want it to be extra bright. Just wanna be colorful, but not colorful. Colorful, but not like. See, this is why I don't do voiceovers, because I sound so dumb sometimes. Like, my speech is terrible. Like, I remember I was in college, and I went to a speech class, and I was, I quit the class before we had to do the speech. <laughs> like, I, everyone's like, okay, I'll get ready for, like, this week. We're going to do our speeches. And I'm like, no. I went to my advisor, and I was like, can't do it. <laughs> now I'm just putting this color in the same areas as we were before. You can see that it's nice and smoking out now. Oh my god, the green in your eyes are like, bang! <laughs> so now we're gonna use Queen Bee. I'm gonna try with my finger first because on my finger you can see how pigmented it is. So I'm going to try putting it on my finger and then blending it out with a brush. So I'm first going to put Queen B on the center lid. Just kind of pat out my finger. I saw a lot of artists do that with some blurry shadows because I guess the brush was taking way too much pigment. But I do think the warmth of your finger with the eyeshadow does help to put on first and then you can eventually put on a little bit on a brush and just blend out. Definitely recommend the finger application. It's just a lot better. A lot cleaner, a lot more precise. I want this to be a little more defined, so I'm going to use a E36 from Sigma, and it has a very tiny width, or what, is that what we call it, width? Yeah, it's a really tiny brush, so <laughs> you're gonna focus on the areas that you wanna focus on. Um, so it's not a puffy brush. Yeah, it's not too fluffy. It has a little density in it, so it's not gonna go all over the place. And we're just going to focus this on the crease area, kind of. Looks a little bit more defined. And I'm mixing hematite 
and cinnamon. You can see it's defining this part of the eye a little more. So it's not a super cut crease, but it's just a little bit more dense. You run out of words after a while. Your vocabulary is very um, broad. Really? Yeah. I don't even know half the words you're using. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I'm like, wow, that sounds pretty smart. Really? I feel like I just run out of words. Yeah, I'd be like, so I'm just gonna like blend this with this brush that is big and <laughs> you're like, it's dense and I don't know, you're using some fancy ass words. And that's well, just... that's good. Like oh. when I do my voiceovers, I always use basically, but I'll use it so much that it turns into basically and it sounds so weird. And people are like, what are you saying? And I'm like, I don't know. Just ignore me. Just forget it. Just, yeah, it's okay. Move on. I'm gonna look super glam for lunch. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to get some sushi <laughs> with my friend. And, yeah. Well, your friend won't. And then I'm going to shopping, so maybe. Oh, good. So maybe people will be like, oh my god, you can't hear me. <laughs> and I'm gonna say I did. <laughs> you should be like, yes, follow me. <laughs> okay, so for liner, we're gonna use Kat Von D. Um, we're gonna use Trooper, which is my favorite, as you guys know. Just so easy. It's like a makeup artist dream. Oh my god, it's just like this. Thanks. Do you do a lot of um, older clients? Or mm -hmm. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, because usually, like, especially with bridal parties, mm -hmm. like, oh, I want you to do my mom too. Whenever uh, my grandma, I did, yeah. a, I did a nine year old grandma once. No, you didn't. Yes, like, she was so adorable. She was just old. Like, <laughs> yeah, just, like, like, how do you do like, I feel like I like, have to, like, raise her up. Oh, like, yeah, like, I was like, like, pulling her face, like, every which way. But she was really, really sweet, and she loved it. She was, like, Aww. still, like, able to, like, understand what was going on. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna use Too Faced Better Than Sex, which is sometimes better than sex. <laughs> it's very good. I don't know. <laughs> I've never used this before. Really? No. It's really. It's. I think it's the number one mascara in America. I think I, I read that really the other day. just can't shy away from my Chanel. Oh, oh my God, Chanel's amazing. Which one do you use? The Inimitable? No, La Use the volume. Mm -hmm. Why the intermittable is better? Mm -hmm. Oh my god, intermittable is so good. Okay, I'm gonna that. You have long lashes. Yes. <laughs> I'm using a makeup wipe just to wipe all the shadow fallout. For primer, we are going to use Clean Slate Primer by Tarte. I'm gonna use a BH Cosmetics brush to apply this. And this just smooths out the skin, hides the pores. Okay, so we're gonna mix a natural and fair. Just wanna make sure I get a good coverage and color for her. This is the LA Girl Pro Coverage in HD. I'm gonna use a Sigma Flat Angled Kabuki in F88. So I would say that this foundation is a dupe for Makeup Forever. You don't want to spend the 40 bucks I think it's 40 right now. Which is a little ridiculous for foundation. For one bottle. Yeah. I do it. <laughs> so. so there you go. But this is a really great, really great dupe. And I think it's a little bit more luminizing than the Makeup Forever. I think the is more mattifying. For concealer, the Neutral Light or Light Neutral by Urban Decay. I'm gonna use this on the under eye. We're using this basically just to cover and then we'll highlight after. Always put a little bit on the nose. I'm taking a beauty blender and I'm blending her out. Just the concealer. And then we're gonna contour and highlight her. For contouring and highlighting, I'm going to use the Cover Effects palette. 
This is my favorite for contour and highlight right now. This is the light medium one. I'm gonna use the 195 again. I'm gonna take shade one and just kind of press it on the cheekbones, down her nose. This is like the perfect highlighting color. It's not too grayish. Do it too is kind of cut the cheekbone a little bit. I'm gonna use a Sigma angled cream contour brush. This is an F61, and I'm gonna use shade three and four, mostly four. You done anything? I'm watching. Good. <laughs> Jaw too. This is a really great brush for this. This is basically, basically, see? Basically. Terrible. Basically. <laughs> this is what it's made for. It's to be nice and flexible so that you can contour easily. Now we're going to go on the nose. It's <laughs> my favorite part. Crazy. And I am coming out with a nose contour video soon, I promise. First, we're going to blend out the highlight. I'm not pressing too hard. Blending out the nose just a little bit, but I want to leave the nose for last, but I just kind of put down the bridge. Blending out the cheekbones. Chin and the cupid's bow. I'm going to just drag and press underneath the cheekbone. Use the bottom of the blender for that. I'm just going to press into the hairline. I feel like when you bronze the hairline, it just looks yes. like you came from the beach. Yep. I'm going to kind of bring this up. I want to go down with this when blending because you want to keep that line there. Crazy. Nice and tight. So I just want to make sure we blended that all out. So now we're going to bake her. We're going to use the Cover Effects Perfect Setting Powder. I'm going to press it in. It's probably me because I'm bringing. <laughs> I'm like, wow, that's such a good stuff. That's definitely my, yeah, it's my protein shaver. Oh, I had Reese's before I came here. It's delicious. Yeah, that's what I Yeah, I literally ate five cookies last night. Like, I made cookies. I've never eaten, like, because it's because I had a salad for me or something. Oh, yeah, of course. Eat. You're never satisfied with this fun. Yeah. That's I'm me. like not a salad girl whatsoever. No, that's me. I'm like, okay, I'm going to get a salad, and I'm like, wait, I need bread. <laughs> it's so true. I need to eat. It's like, because I say that, I'm like, I need like a bagel. Yeah. Like, like you need like, it's something solid. You need something satisfying. That's yeah. what it is. It's, a salad is not satisfying. No, not at all. To just leave this there for a little bit. And I'm going to just pack this on a little more. And she'll have good coverage there. And I'll put a little bit on the forehead. Oh my god, my face looks so skinny. It's amazing. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna use a makeup addiction brush. I'm just going to set her contour. I'm gonna pat so it's not putting on too much. Put a little bit over her brow so it looks like a nice little wool. Put a little bit underneath her chin, under her nose, and down her neck. Blush we're going to use Exposed by Tarte. Oh my god, now I'm going to watch you do my makeup like every day. Yeah. 
No, I'm going to be like, um, please, just come to my house like a lamb bed and just see you get your makeup. You know what it's like? You know what it's easiest to do people's makeup when they're sleeping? Oh, perfect. Okay, so <laughs> I'm going to call you. I'm going to be like, I'm about to nap. I'm just coming to my bedroom and I'll be like, this. about to nap before I go out. <laughs> you have to do my makeup real quick. We're going to smoke out the lower lash line. So I'm going to use um, Peachy. And then I'm going to use Hematite from the Kylie Bronze palette again. I'm using a 239 from MAC, just the edge of it. Oh, we're gonna put lashes on too. And this kind of brings everything together. It literally looks amazing. Good. It's so funny too, because people are like, what do you actually do? And I'm like, mm -hmm. <laughs> and they're like, no, like, what do you do? Like, I don't sit in front of my job. computer all day. Yeah, I'm like, it's a job. So like, I feel like these kind of videos are like, see? I you know it, not doing. just on me. Yeah. You're doing it on others. And some serious one on top and bottom. Jesus. I'm gonna show you guys the lashes that I'm using. They are my line Gigi Bell lashes. But I'm not sure if I'm gonna come out with these first or in the next collection, but they're pretty, right? While her eyes are closed, we're going to wipe away all of the excess powder. Gosh, I always do this in a circular motion because you want to bring the bronzer down a little bit. And just make sure that's all blended out. It's Illuminati we're using. We can't. Okay, so first we're going to do her eyes and then we'll do the rest of the face. Super shimmery, and I'm gonna put a little bit on the brow bone. So I'm gonna set her with Tatcha's Dewy Dewy <laughs> Tatcha's Dewy Mist Spray. I'm gonna close her eyes. We're gonna go for lips and cover. Show you guys. I keep trying to show you guys. And line her. It's a great neutral to have. Surprise my dog with the mark ones. We're gonna use Lolita 2 by Pat Von D. I'm just a little tiny lippy. Thanks so much for watching guys. Hope you have enjoyed it. Here are some pictures of the look. I think she looks absolutely stunning. But anyways, thumbs it up if you enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe. Bye guys.